update, it's here. Ping the human. Bing bong, bing bong. 1.16 is out and now it's at 1.16.1. 1. Apparently they fixed a few things. I've been playing on a vanilla server with my friends. We updated it to 1.16 in preparation of the nether update. And we've gotten pretty far. I think we have nailed down a good way, a good strategy at finding netherite, which happens to be the hardest ore to get. It's a lot similar to diamonds in where it spawns, but it's only in the nether and you're gonna need a lot of pickaxes to actually get enough to get a full armor set. I don't have one yet, but hopefully in this video, we can end with a huge amount of netherite. Looks like I logged off in the nether. Isn't that something? So as you can see, I don't have any right now. I was in the middle of mining. Let's see if we can continue. Oh, oh okay, okay. I remember why I logged off. That is lava. So the best way to find netherite is literally just mining in a straight line. They're so rare, only 64 netherite spawns in each chunk, which doesn't sound like too little, but it's actually really difficult to find. We'll see how long it takes me here to find one ancient debris, which is what you need to get one fragment of netherite. And there we go. I'm actually super lucky that it only took me that long. This is what ancient debris looks like. And we only got one, which, uh, you know, usually it's in a clump of one to two. And you'll be really, really lucky if you find it in a clump of three, which I've only found one time. Now, my diamond pickaxe is about to break here. Let's see if we can get lucky again. And that was the end of my pickaxe. The biggest strategy is to have a bunch of pickaxes and you need to be around 15. I found that I've had the most luck on level 15, which is kind of similar to diamonds. I think the best level you could be at for diamonds is 12. But since ancient debris spawns between 8 and 22, I feel like 15 is a good middle ground and you'll usually find them pretty fast. So this is the base of our mine here. And at first I thought that ancient debris spawned at the top of the nether because I, I thought I saw it in creative mode one time. 15 blocks is the ideal area. Don't mess with me. And here we are back at home base, baby. Once you get the ancient debris, you throw it in the furnace and it smelts you up some of this, which is called a netherite scrap. Now you need four netherite scraps and four gold bars to make a netherite ingot, which seems like a lot, but you only need one ingot per tool or per armor to actually create it. You have to first make a diamond, whatever it is, tool, the, the helmet, the shoes. A really advanced way that you can find ancient debris is coming down to around 15 and mining a shaft, skip two blocks, mine another shaft, skip two blocks and mine another shaft. And this is because it's so rare that you're most likely going to miss it. So if I never made this chasm, I would have never found this ancient debris right here. So it's pretty ideal to make strip mines going in the same direction, just two blocks apart, just so you don't miss anything. This is if you're trying to just get a lot of netherite, if you want a full set like I'm trying to do. I found that it's not too hard. You do have to have a lot of iron. I really recommend having a lot of iron pickaxes so you don't break your oh, oh. But once you find a couple, you'll start to understand how they spawn. And this is just what is worked the best for me and my friends. So I just stopped. I broke my first iron pickaxe. That's usually when I switch over to the next lane. And I just started digging in this lane. And once again, we found another little cluster of ancient debris. I hope that I get two. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. All right, nope. Like I said, most of the time you're only gonna be finding one, but it, it's okay, it's not that hard. I would say the hardest thing is just digging to the bottom of the nether without hitting lava. So I used up all my iron pickaxes and I actually found four ancient debris, which is actually pretty good. If you find one ancient debris per iron pickaxe, that is actually really lucky. You guys may have your own strategies. I would love to hear them in the comments, but my goal is to have a full set of netherite. To make the armor, like I said, you need diamond, but you also have to make a smithing table, which is just a crafting table with two iron bars on top. Pretty easy. And I have quite a bit of netherite, so why don't I just do the chest piece for right now? This is pretty exciting. I've never done this. <laughs> Let's go! I've been working days for this. Looking real fresh. Freaking feels good. I want to save it until I have the full thing. The stats on this, armor plus eight, armor toughness plus three, knockback resistance plus one. That's pretty freaking good. And if we take our melted netherite scraps, I can show you guys how to actually make the netherite. 
It doesn't matter. It's a shapeless order. It can be this way. It can be that way. Whatever way you want. All you need is four scraps and four gold, and then you have another netherite bar. That's a complete other item that I can make, as long as you have enough diamonds. And the strategy goes for the same. Diamonds, super easy to find. Just make sure you're at level 12. 12 blocks above bedrock, and just mine and mine and mine, and you will find some, I promise. Oh my god, no! Who left this thing in my mind? Oh, looks like he doesn't know how to use stairs. What an idiot! <laughs> I actually really want a strider. I haven't got one yet, but I built this little platform here next to the lava, which has a bunch of them. So maybe I'll do that this episode as well. I have just hit a lucky spawn of two, hopefully three. I've only seen three once, so yeah, just two. But hey, that's good. It took me two, nearly three pickaxes just to find two. So I can't iterate this enough. It's very rare. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing in here? He has a bit of nether egg. Where's your mom? How did you even get in this cave? This is a private area. So I just got done with a run. Out of 10 iron pickaxes, I only got three, which is kind of disappointing, but don't be discouraged if it takes you a little while to find your first netherite scrap. It does take a while. And I think Mojang wanted it to be hard because it's kind of like the end all be all. It's the end game armor. So it has to be slightly challenging. So I understand that. I agree with their decision to make it really valuable. You gotta be careful of lava because in the nether, for some reason, they just love to spawn one block of lava right around where the ancient debris spawns. So you will most likely run into that. This is the last bit of debris that I need. And we got lucky with this one because we actually found a three stack. And thank God, because that was my last pickaxe. That feels so nice to find three. Yes. Dude, that's so awesome. And I didn't even need to mine that far. But the thing is, if you take a look, I've expanded my mines. I have about 30 or so parallel mine shafts. And this, in my opinion, is the absolute fastest way you can legitimately get netherite. I can take all my bars and I'm just going to upgrade all of my diamond armor. This feels awesome. I'm even going to get a netherite sword. I don't think I'm going to make a pickaxe because personally, it's kind of a waste. There's nothing you need a netherite pickaxe for. So I don't, I don't really think that making a pickaxe is the best thing you can do. I think the best pickaxes are diamond and you enchant the crap out of them. Those are definitely the best. Obviously, netherite is probably a little bit better, but cover me in debris. I just got an achievement, baby. Let's go. This makes me feel amazing. I feel like I could take on a truck, a bus, a bus full of drug addicts, all of the above. And I actually have one netherite ingot left. But what I think I'm going to do, since I'm on a server with a bunch of my friends, I'm going to surprise one of them. Over here is my buddy Andrew's house. I'm going to put it in his chest. He's not going to know. He's going to be so excited. Where's his diamonds? He only has three diamonds. Not anymore. Three diamonds and an ingot. The only other thing that I can do to make myself feel even more better, gooder than I already do is if I get a strider. So I'm going to go back into the nether. I'm going to try my hardest to get strider and then... I will be happy. So to tame one, it's pretty easy. You need a saddle. I have a bunch, as you can see, from raiding dungeons. Uh, we're also going to need a fishing pole and a warped fungus, which is one of the new mushrooms that spawns inside the nether. I think I've seen one, but I've probably thrown it away. I'm sure it won't take me that long to find one. These mushrooms, this is, this is not the one you want. This is crimson fungus. No, it looks uh, a little purple. These big guys, they, they suck. They, they will fight you to the death. Same with the hogs. I, oh my God. I actually want to try out my netherite sword. Ooh, two hit. That's pretty good. The warp fungus. Or, oh, there it is. Perfect. So not that hard to find. You got to put your fishing pole and your warp fungus, and then you get a warp fungus on a stick. That's pretty much the hardest part. Finding the warp fungus and getting a saddle. All right, so we're out on our little platform here, and it looks like the striders kind of walked away. So I'm going to have to build just a little bridge. Good thing I have 10,000 pounds of netherrack. Let's see if I hold this out. You think they'll just come right up to me? No? Maybe not. Yes, they're coming over to me. Come here, little cutie. What? There's already a saddle on this one. What? Who did this? <laughs> looks like someone else already did. Come here. Oh, yeah, he wants it. He wants it bad. Oh, and there we go. It worked. <laughs> This isn't mine. I don't know whose this is, but that's all you got to do to get a strider. Pretty, pretty easy. And I don't know how I'm going to ride him up the side of this. Maybe I can, uh, yeah, build a little thing. And there we go. Definitely a fantastic vehicle for getting across the nether, finding new dungeons. Look at him. He wants it so bad. Yeah, come in here, baby. I might make a pen for him. I'm pretty hyped that I didn't have to use a saddle, but for whoever strider I took, 
I'm gonna leave the saddle down there next to the pen. Come on in, Junior. Looking flames, I might add. And he'll be here, ready to be used. Whoever needs a strider, whoever wants to explore the nether. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Any other strategies you guys have for finding netherite, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have figured out in the new update. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later! Bye.